Hello there. Well, by the way, I'm Susanna, if you haven't seen any of my videos before. Um, so do you click on and enjoy all the stories and a little bit of dog chat. So speaking of which, a couple of videos ago, I did a, um, a story called The Sick Doll. And it was written, I think it was about 1920 and illustrated by Mabel Lucy Atwell. And um, I, I got asked lots of questions about which doll I used in the video because I used the illustration and alongside the illustration I used a real doll. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the doll that I used and here she is, isn't she sweet? And just look at that, absolutely sweet. Now this is a Margie doll by the Cameo Doll Company. And believe it or not, she is almost 100 years old. So she's almost an antique and she's in phenomenal condition. She's um, a composition head. And what drew me to her is that she's got a wood body and it's string jointed, you see here? And it's just incredible her age. She's possibly been restrung because her elastics are really, really good. They couldn't possibly have lasted all that long. But they're absolutely adorable dolls. Now, they go for all sorts of prices, but I managed to find a good deal um, on the internet. And so I was just kind of curious. I didn't even know if I was gonna keep her when I got her. Um, and for kind of curious, I didn't even know if I was gonna keep her when I got her. Um, and for a while I, I thought, mm, you know, should I even have her um, face painted again? Because although she, she's got a lovely expression, she's got a few marks there. Can you see on her cheek? But you know what, she's so adorable. And I think a few imperfections like that on an old doll just add to part of their history. It's part of their character. So I absolutely love her the way she is. and. Another thing I noticed, she didn't come with any clothing. Um, so I actually added this little dress. It doesn't fit her completely well, but this is a dress I got with an old Dutch doll. And underneath, um, I made her um, some little underwear here. But you'll notice that this Margie has um, molded hands. You see there? Now, most of the Marges that you see online um, have ball hands. And I'm going to show you here. Fortunately, just before I got Margie, I managed to get this composition doll book just from a market store for two pounds. Really, really good. And inside, sure enough, Margie was there. You can see she's under the Cameo Doll Company. And there's her ad. And she's by Joseph Callis, who, um, no, I didn't put my glasses on, who founded the Rex Doll Company in 1916. And then eventually he went on to um, establish his own cameo doll production company. And he did a lot of Cupid dolls. So um, this is, is there a Cupid here? No, but there's, there's another doll very similar to Margie called Joy. And you can see here, that's Joy. And I love the way he puts their name stamped onto the front of the body. And they're just really, really sweet dolls. And I'll just show you the picture of the Margie that has the ball hands, which is the more common variety that comes up. There she is. And you can see her hands aren't molded their ball at the end. So I don't know whether this one was more of a deluxe model or whether um, she was more expensive, is she rarer? I don't really know much more about the Margie dolls. Let's see how tall this one is because the one in the book is 10 inches. She is, she's, 10 and a half touching 11 possibly 11 inches so 
she's obviously a slightly larger version. Um, and what I love about them also is that they really reflect the era because if you take that off, you can see on her head is molded. So you can actually put a, a sort of flapper style ribbon around and that really brings her character to life. So let me just take her dress off quickly and you can see the full body underneath. Let's just do that. So it's just lovely when you find a doll which you're not 100% certain about but it comes up as a bargain and you think why not and and it ends up being absolutely lovely so this is the little um outfit i made for her can you see very sweet there i'd made it for another doll in the style of the 1920s so fortunately perhaps it was predestined that i was going to have a margie one day that it would fit so let's just pop this part off so you can just see you can just see her stamped on the front there it says Margie and look at her sweet little eyes she is so so sweet I'm going to put your clothing back on because it's more dignified so that's Margie she is the doll that I featured in the video called the sick doll and um have a look out for Margie. I'd love to know if you have a Margie too, or any of the cameo dolls, um, the QPs, or maybe you have a Margie which does have the balls on the hands. But anyway, I've got to get her some socks and some shoes, and we're going to have some fun together. Maybe you, you'll be in some more videos. So here's another look at Margie. Good night. We're just about to go to bed. Here's Margie. Okay, well thank you for tuning in. I just did a quick video before I'm going to bed too, so anyway, wave. Bye bye. Bye bye.